Good morning, students. Today uh, I will be solving uh, question number three and four. As I have given you question number three as your assignment, most of you have uh, done it incorrectly. So I will solve question number three here. So I want you to do solve question number three again with my calculation. Okay. Then after that, I will solve question number four. <coughs> okay. As we can see here, we are given x plus y equal to a plus b. Here in these cases, the question does not use any number. Instead of number, it uses a variable that is a and b. Okay. This type of question is very important for a central board of school education. Okay. But in Mizoram board of school education, we hardly uh, achieve this type, these types of question. Okay. But it is important and we have to know how to do it. Okay. So let's see. First, we have the first equation x plus y equal to y, uh, equal to a plus b. So in this case, I will put as this one. Okay, x is equal to a plus b minus y as equation one. Okay, I will make this as an equation one. So the equation two will be uh, remain the same. A x minus b y equal to a square minus b square this will be equation two so we will substitute equation one in equation two okay sub substituting equation one in equation two we get so if i uh, substitute the value of x that is a plus b minus y in equation two i will be having a times a plus b minus y minus b y equal to a square minus b square <coughs> so i have to multiply the bracket with the a okay with a a into a a square plus a into b a b minus a y minus b y equal to a square minus <coughs> b square so as you can see here we have a square the left hand side and another a square the left, uh, right hand side so these two can cancel each other okay first of all these two can cancel each other so <coughs> we'll be having like this okay i will put both y and I will move this to the right hand side, okay? So it will become a y minus b y equal to minus b square. If I move positive a b to the right hand side, it will become negative a b. So I can have y as common here and b as common here, okay? So here negative y is common here, negative y is common here, so I will be having a plus b. Then here, negative b is common here, so I'll be having b plus a. Okay, see, a plus b is similar to b plus a. Okay, because it is both are positive, so these two can cancel each other. Okay, you will cancel each other, then you, the negative y and negative b, uh, b can cancel each other, the sign can cancel each other, so we have y is equal to b so the value of y is b okay it's very simple so putting y equal to b in equation one okay, you can substitute it in equation one or you can substitute this in equation three two again it doesn't matter in equation one we get so as we can see equation one is x is equal to a plus b minus y instead of this y i have to put b okay so x is equal to a plus b minus y so instead of y i can put b so b and b can cancel each other x is equal to a so therefore x is equal to a and y is equal to b so these are the, this is the solution it's very very simple okay now we'll move on to question number four
Okay, <clears throat> question number four. We have we have uh, s minus t equal to three. This is a simple one, but in the second part we have a fraction s by three plus t by two equal to six. So it's uh, very simple. Okay, solution. I will put the first equation I, and yes, I'll put the first equation and make it as s is equal to 3 plus t. Okay, s is equal to 3 plus t. This will be equation 1. And the second part, I have to do some calculation here, okay? And we have s by 3 plus d by 2 equal to 6 so it is in a fraction so I have to take a LCM LCM of 3 and 2 is 6 3 divide 6 2 2 into s is 2s plus 2 3 is 6 3 into t is 3d equal to 6 so 2s plus 3d is equal to 6 6 36 so I have 2s plus 3t equal to 36. This will be our equation 2. Then next we have to substitute the value of s in equation 2. Okay. Substituting s equal to 3 plus t in equation 2 we get. So instead of S, I have to put 3 plus T. 2 times 3 plus T plus 3T equal to 36. So multiplying the bracket with 2, 3 to the 6 plus 2T plus 3T equal to 36. 6 will move to the right hand side. So 2T plus 3T is 5T equal to 36 minus 6 is 30 so 5t is equal to 30 then t is equal to 30 by 5 is 6 so the value of t is 6 so I will substitute t equal to 6 in equation 1 okay putting t equal to 6 in equation 1 we get so let's look at equation one. Equation one is s is equal to three plus t. So three plus t t is six. That means s is equal to nine. So it's very very simple. Therefore, t is equal to six and s is equal to nine. That's all. Okay. I want you to do question number three and four again, and please submit your work before 10 p.m. Okay. And uh, do your assignment neat and clean handwriting okay so study very very hard that's all for today thank you